So it's really a great idea for you to get very comfortable with showing that one set is a subset of another set. It's going to appear again and again as we go on in this course and in mathematics in general. So let me do another example. Here's a theorem. How about we let A, B, and C be non-empty sets? So three sets that are not the empty set. Then I'm going to try to prove this claim. If A cross B is a subset of B cross C, then A is a subset of C. Okay, let's prove this. So I'm trying to prove a conditional if-then statement. We've seen this a bunch by now. We know that to prove this, we begin by assuming that this is true. My goal is to prove that A is a subset of C. So to prove subsets, the idea is you take an element in the first set and show it has to be an element in the second set. So I'm going to take an element A in A. Then I'm going to do some logic and hopefully conclude that little a has to be in C as well. Okay, so I'm also going to take an element B in B. I know that this is possible because A, B, and C are non-empty, so elements actually exist in these sets. If I didn't put this non-empty set statement, this line where I said take B and B might have been suspect. So watch out for that. You don't want to take elements in empty sets. That's where sometimes proofs fall apart. Okay, so take an element B and B. Then the ordered pair A comma B is in A cross B. So since A cross B is a subset of B cross C by hypothesis, A comma B has to be in B cross C. That means, therefore, A is actually in B. A is in B because the first coordinate has to be in here. Now, consider the ordered pair A comma A. A comma A is in a cross B, because A is in A and A is in B, so this is a legal element in A cross B. Because A cross B is a subset of B cross C, A comma A has to be in B cross C. What this means is, therefore, the element A has to be in C. And I'm done with the proof. So I can put my celebratory end of proof shaded, shaded box symbol. I love that symbol. I'm done because I started with an element in A and I, I concluded that A is in C. Okay, get some practice with these and I'll see you for our next video.